I want to try my luck. Strange. Most shit themselves at the sight of my sword. They say you're equal to a witcher in a fight. They lie. I'm better. We'll see. You'll need to wait. I've a fight lined up already. We could always duel in pairs. I look around and I see the cream of Kedweni Knights. Someone's bound to agree. I am Edwin Lysum, known also as the Petal. If Latond will have me, I'll gladly stand at his side. Why do they call you the Petal? I've no need for one who plows maidens simply for the pleasure of deflaring them. You offend me greatly, Latond. I owe the moniker to the fact that I place flower petals in the mouths of the foes I defeat. I'll be glad to see anything stuffed in the Witcher's mouth. So be it. Hush! That's allowed. Pencil can be touchy. Here, yeah, boy. Aunt? Has he agreed? Yes. Some horse, eh? Unique among them. Ready? Uh-huh. Let's go get him. Most gracious king, noble lords, men at arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit. Known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the Honourable Edwin the Petal Lysum. Opposing them are Sven of Somewhere and Geralt of Rivia, Witcher! May the gods favour the better men! Our gracious and merciful ruler, King Henselt, shall generously bestow this upon the young Sven. Heralds will announce these subsequent duels. Long live King Henselt! Long live Kedwin! Thank you. You salvaged my honor. He salvaged that foolish head of yours. I'm a knight now. The king himself will do the honors. You were born in a pigsty where the labor came to your mother 18 springs ago. Nothing will change that. Witcher, I said you could demand what you will, and my word's no worse than a noble's. You demanded payment for helping me? Everything has its price. What is it you wish? Information on those who carry square coins. Father! Silence! Why do you need to know? I just need to know what this is all about. Ah, uh, it's a long story. I've got time. It started before the victory at Brenna, when we split Edorn between ourselves and Nilfgaard. We were shamed throughout the north. What's that got to do with the coins? 
Everyone wanted to thrash the black ones, not play brother to them. A group of officers hatched a plot. The coins there in Mark. I don't know who gathered the first group of plotters, but the seeds of the scheme fell on fertile soil and sprouted quickly. Then came Brenna, and it all died down. The plotters themselves lost direction, though it seems they resurfaced recently. Is Henselt dealing with Nilfgaard again? Who knows? But he's welcomed that shriveled old bat here and spends time in discussions with him. That plot, well, the lads just want to prevent the black ones from meddling in our affairs. Not more. You know a lot. You got a coin? Dark, yeah, I'm old. I know that he who gains power loses his heart. I'm past the age of taking the crown off one head and placing it on another. But my son still believes a monarch can be just. Why must you know if I've a coin? I can't say. And neither can you, father. An old soldier's word is no handful of hay with which to wipe your arse. I'll have naught to do with this. Go to Madame Carl's brothel and ask for whistling Wendy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Are we even? Yeah. And beware of Vincent Trott. He may be hiding with the conspirators. Dangerous man, that one. Death Mole's looking for him. And if he finds him, we may all end up tasting the executioner's axe. That scoundrel falls into the sorcerer's hands. He'll give us all up to save his own skin. I'll be careful. Trot wears a magic suit of armor. He could prove a difficult foe, even for you.